there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we continue our let's play. This is episode 189. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the D-Class Multi-Class event, which is for multi-class cars, but we need to drive a D-Class. For that, we're driving the 1977 AMC Pacer X. <laughs> there you go, that's the noise you're supposed to make when you hear a Pacer. Oh boy. So we're sending a Pacer for its paces. Hey. I like how no one's commented on the stream title yet, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, we're going to be driving a lot of uh, American vehicles. Nope, I literally just needed a name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and for some reason, that's what came to my head. So this. Wow, we get 305 tires on the uh, rear. I'm surprised we're not slapping a massive engine in this and saying, fuck it. It's got a massive engine in it. It does actually. It's a 4.2 litre. 4.2 litre I mean, slant even six. Bigger engine. Just lump it with power. We can do that through upgrading it. Hopefully. I actually forgot I had. Uh, I, I was going gonna get really sad because I didn't think I'd get a chance to use a pacer in this LP. And then I remembered I used one for uh, the championships early on, so I had enough affinity for this. So now we get to use a pacer, and I'm very excited. Are you very excited? Oh, no. no. Three, three or five tyres on this thing, so it should grip. <laughs> should. Keyword should, but here's the thing. You'll likely break down before it gets to a corner. It'll be fine. D-Class Multi-Class Event. Any D-Class car is eligible for entry in this multi-class event, which shares the track with a separate field of S-Class cars. Bernie's Club Circuit first. We're not beating the S-Class cars in a Pacer. But, a few interesting facts about the Pacer... Okay. One, the obvious one, it was supposed to have a rotary engine. Yeah. And then General Motors cancelled the project at the 11th hour because they GM. didn't want to do it. So then, it so then they shoot. Uh? Oil crisis, maybe? Oil crisis you need a lot and of oil financial to keep crisis. A rotary running. Yeah, and also there was issues with uh, emissions as well. Did Mass to start the, the oil crisis then? Just people trying to keep their. Uh, RX3 is from exploding. Running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Omar. Um, so, not only was it supposed to have a rotary engine, AMC then had to think of a solution to this problem because the car was made for a rotary engine. So their solution was to go to one of their bigger vehicles, the AMC, I think it was like a Matador or something, and they put the 4.2 litre inline 6 in it, right? The problem mm. is, the engine kind of had to eat into the firewall. So if you ask anyone that's ever worked on an AMC Pacer, they'll tell you it's one of the worst things ever, because half of the head is underneath the windscreen. Oh. Yeah, so it's like a, it's like a BMW. And there's clearance look issues. Under, look under the bonnet of an E46, you can only see two cylinders. But then, Basically, it gets even BMW. better. It gets even mm. better than that. There was a big problem with this 4.2 is six cylinder. See, people didn't think it was quite fast enough. Oh, no. uh, and AMC wondered, hmm, how could we rectify this? Could we, you know, ask Mazda for a rotary or I don't know, team up with another manufacturer? No, what they did is they just got a five litre V8 and stuck it underneath the somehow. Which is which is a shorter <laughs> engine. So really. And then they were amazed because no one bought one. Because it got like 13 miles per gallon. Boring. Mm. And then... <laughs> and then... And then... I say, and then... What I'm actually oh trying no. to get around to saying is that if I ever get to amass a gazillion pounds, and I get to have a garage full of vehicles, I'm going to have three paces. Oh, no. oh dear God. I'm going one to with. have one pacer that looks like this, because yes. the original pacer is fucking cool. I mean, how can you not love the original pacer? Then I yeah. want a late 70s one wagon with the V8 in it. Oh dear. And in then, brain? Ooh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I want this pacer in like the silliest colour I can find one in, and then a brown wagon with wood on it, because you couldn't get wood on it back then and as well. Oh no. And then... My dream master plan is I'm going to find a 
uh, Copar RX-8 and then mate it with a pacer so I can make a rotary pacer. <laughs> An RX-8? RX-8 pacer. Why not the turbo FDs or something like that? Because an RX-8 is cooler. Yeah, I know, but you annoy more people that way. People don't care about an RX-8. No, but they will care about it when it's got a red and black interior inside a pacer. Ooh. Wait, hold on. How much are you mating then? Just the engine or bits of interior? I'd probably use bits of interior. Bit probably, of you'd probably be able to use a large amount of the... I mean, you know, how... This isn't that big a car, and the RX-8 isn't that big a car. Yeah, but it's wide. Wide, small, wide was never this yes. small, wide. <laughs> you seen that? Advert, yeah. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this advert for this car because there's all them fucking people getting ran over. I didn't think it was that <laughs> wide. Even though, like, you look at any picture of this car and you realise it's got a. <gasps> oh my god, boost! You know you was on about fake Carfax for a series at one point. Yes. I've got a good one. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, Smart was influenced by the AMC Pacer because they wanted to make a car as wide as it was, like, Tall. long. Yeah. Yeah, long. Yeah, and, like, they looked to the AMC Pacer because that had it. Also, more fun facts about the Pacer because I'm just full of these. Can you tell about like, the Pacer? Um, no. The driver's side door is actually four inches longer than the passenger side door. Huh. Well, Interesting. No one knows why. <laughs> and Wait, hold on. It's... It's not a uh, clever design choice, so... I, I, I can't switch I don't think so. A road. AMC Pacer. Oh. <laughs> the AMC the Pacer The Murfmobile. <laughs> Does that say unleaded fuel on it only? This wouldn't be unleaded um, fuel, would it? What year is it? 75. Yes. No. 75 oh. was the year the US introduced catalytic converters, kind of. Is that <laughs> why this is a Pacer well, X? I haven't looked into it enough, but... Um, there's some weird exceptions, like I believe the F40, for some reason, didn't actually have them until 92, the ones that were sold in America. Hello, weird. Daniel. Or maybe they were just never sent to America until 92, I don't know. Uh, That's a um, fun story, Lex. Is there the f where, where is the fucking link for the it's in, it's in recording. It's called, what's it called? Redneck something. Percussion. Oh, yeah. Redneck percussion. <laughs> if I look in the wrong place, I'm not going to see it. Oh yeah, redneck, redneck percussion. Yes, let's go for that. Actually, I know why it was. I was listening to Dogfish Rising before we started, and it's the only <laughs> lyric of Dogfish Rising that can be a title. Because I don't think YouTube would recommend my stream if it said Black and Decker dildos on it. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever oh, want to laugh, Dogfish Rising. That's a look power the tool. Dogfish Rising. Look the lyrics up. You'll you'll enjoy it. Uh, also, I forgot how the fucking back of the car looked with the fucking so car cool. windows. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I not like it. I cannot. Uh, I don't know anyone who could dislike the pacer. Like, yeah, it's just I mean, so. Yeah, I just it, like it because it's a good piece of design, to be honest. It's weird. <laughs> I don't think it's yeah. wicked. I just think it's clever. I mean, only thing. Yeah, I, but it's clever and it's would... also weird looking because it's clever. Uh, uh, only thing I wouldn't want is a fucking uh, breaking one of the. Win rear win the window that goes to the rear, you know, the car one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that and also don't leave anything inside it on a hot day because these did have issues with, like, melting. Oh, God. Apparently, <laughs> after a while, the dashboards would, like, just disintegrate because it's just the amount of sun rays coming into them is insane. Nice. Because <laughs> I think it's... I don't know if it still holds the record, but it was one of the very highest... Um, Amounts of glass per construction or something like that. Oh, like I can 16, believe that, Sixteen yeah. Sixteen percent of the overall materials in the car is metal. Uh, is uh, glass, sorry. Sixteen <laughs> percent? Oh my god. Sixty percent of it's cardboard because it's a 60. 70 is American Motors product. Yeah. I like how hey, the guys, two AMC to... lemons represent yeah. two different eras. Yeah, you had the uh, the Pacer, which is what was the darling product that got poured loads of money into and just came at the worst time possible. And then you got the Gremlin, which was the first idea of a compact car. Just like, hmm, how can we make a compact car? Well, you know that compact saloon we do, the the um, the Matador? Yeah, just literally chop the arse of it off. Gremlin. Hold on, is this just the Allegro and the Marina, but American? 
Yeah, and from the same company. Actually, they were the same company. Kind of, yeah. The eight Pacer was the darling child that was flawed, and the uh, <laughs> the Gremlin was a very rudimentary attempt to try and take on a Volkswagen Golf. Yes. Eleven percent <laughs> asbestos, yeah, probably. I I, I will still love the front end of the Pacer. <laughs> Uh, the front end of you gotta be specific. The front end of the first paces. When they tried to make it look more conventional, it didn't look as good. Yeah, yeah. Although that's why I want a late model wagon so I can choose between them when waking up. Hold on, I don't think I know the conventional looking. I probably do, but I can't remember. There's a fantastic documentary on this car by Auto Moments, which I highly recommend. Oh, you mean the one with the with the tall grill? Yeah. All oh, right. Uh, yeah, no, that's not. That's when they tried to make it more conventional. That's what they called it. Wide, yeah, no, small, wide was never this small. <laughs> I've just seen an AMC, uh, or I've seen a Pacer wagon with the bumpers removed and yellow fog lights at the front. Oh no! I got to show us that. It's stunning. AMC actually. Formula One team. I mean, AMC kind of had a Formula One team. If like you want to really dig. Wait, who? Well, Lamborghini supplied engines. Lamborghini was owned by Chrysler. Chrysler ended up buying American motors. Was, I mean, I mean, I mean, Hello, was, Chrysler, was Chrysler already owning fucking uh, AMC when they made the Pacer? No. Nope. It was still on all right? Nope. No. Nope. This was when it was an independent company. The <laughs> failure of the Pacer is the reason Renault had to buy them. Actually, that's that's another interesting story in and of itself, actually. Because they bought it in, I think it was like 77, 78. And when the French first came over to like survey what they've just bought, apparently they fell in love with the Pacer. Oh, the Pacer oh. seems like the most French They thought car, it actually. was like the most brilliant invention in the world. But in the end it got dropped. Yeah, well, it wouldn't surprise me if the French narrower. tried to buy the fucking patent to it and sell it, sell it for like several years to come. I mean, I mean, it's it's right now. At least AMC doesn't have Vettel. Good point. I'm trying to avoid the V word today. <laughs> You're gonna fail. Is Sabrina You're... Schmidt in this race? <laughs> what? Also, you wanna uh, run me about? That's not. Pacer, that's... Mm. <laughs> okay, handling on Maple Valley, not quite as strong suit. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I like it, by the way. I had time to stop and turn around before anyone yeah. else caught me. Also, oh, you, you, yes, you, you, you want to know the irony about uh, AMC and Renault? Mm -hmm. what, they sold it when they started make, making the fucking Cher the Cherokee. Yeah. With Jeep. The French because are never known are. for smart business decisions, though, are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you totally know how it ended when they fucking sell you to Chrysler. Oh, no! They were like, <gasps> yes! <Yeah>. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and, oh, and they were like, hey. That was elation oh, no, and then okay. deflation. Hey, yeah. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it almost saved itself. Maybe that's why it's, like, oh. angled the way it is. I'm fine, Omar. How are you? Oh, Maple Valley. Strikes again. Never change Maple Valley. That was amazing. And now officially the pace has fallen over more than the transit did. Who saw that one coming? Yeah, no one. Because if you'd asked me which is going <laughs> to... Which is more like to fall over? Car. A, a yeah. van or a wide boy? <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks a bit like a frog in green. <laughs> But yeah, don't ask me why, but for some reason with this year Pacer, and you might have seen it if you've ever, if you've ever watched a video of mine where it's a Pacer, Pacer on Forza, and like I've actually had times like make it my own. I usually go for like light green on top and then a dark green surround for the uh, the under chassis. I've no idea why I do it. I think I saw it in a GTA game once, and I was like, yes. I mean, I mean, there is the Pacer. The Rhapsody. In, uh, yeah. I love the Rhapsody in fucking GTA. Best car yeah. they added to uh, Lost and Damned. Best vehicle they added to Lost and Damned. Don't fight me. I mean, I Mainly because I can't I think can... of any other vehicle they added to Lost and Damned, really. I mean, they added a slam van, I think. 
Yeah, there was slime vans and bikes, and that was basically it. Yeah. Can't remember yeah. if they... Can't remember if they actually added back this this thing in the Rhapsody in um, GC Online. Need to check later. Yeah, it's in uh, GC Online. It did. It was one of the first uh, DLC vehicles. That oh I yeah, is that it? I'm not not a hipster update. Yeah, it was. The uh, I'm yeah. Yeah. That was the best update for GTA. It Mainly because every one, car man. didn't cost a gazillion. Yeah, it quid. was. No, Beach Bomb was first. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. It was Beach Bomb. Fucking. Remember when the most overpowered car in the world was that fucking Doom buggy they bought out? That everyone could have for free. Oh, I the, Bifter. the name of it. Yeah, Bifter. Yeah. Wait, that was overpowered? Yeah, that was overpowered to fuck well, for off road racing. Well, overpowered for the um, off road class. What, more because... so than the Sanchez? Mm -hmm. More than the Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah. Because it had the. Yeah, Boost, did you never watch fail races downhill chaos? <laughs> yeah, the Sanchez annihilated everything. Didn't Not in it? the first season. Oh, I thought it did. No, I don't know what season. There's been like 15 seasons of it, so I don't know what season. Oh, I, I need to remember the early stuff when. Mm. How much power is in this pacer? Um, it's like uh, 190 ish and like 250 foot pound. Adequate. 180. Hold on. Can't pace her. Speed. 187. 188. I don't know. It only revs to 5 grand, so it's kind of hard to tell. It, it, it went to 89 max. And then went it revs down. to 5000 RPM, and that's with camshaft adjustment as well. So. I mean, it was, it was meant as an economy car, wasn't it? It's well, this engine isn't an economy engine. car engine, it's just a... Yeah, it's a that push had to... engine, it's not going to rev. Oh yeah, it's like 4... There again, it's like 4.2 inline 6 from like a million years ago. Uh. Hello, Phil Swift. Uh, 24 at minutes of Maple Valley Le Mans, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think you made that joke last time. Mm. Yeah, I don't. To be fair, Inferno, I don't mind it. I just don't watch it anymore. Why, why don't you watch it? Oh, anymore? rather, I, I watch like his. Uh, I like his car comparison stuff, but Fail Race. Oh, I, but, I never watch it. The, the problem is when I like first got into Fail Race, it's when it was like exclusively Forza challenges, and they were interesting to me. And now it isn't, so I don't care. <laughs> Like, I, I'm oh, not you... really bothered about GTA racing or anything like that, so... GTA racing is bad anyway, most of the time. I, I don't get G... I, I don't, like... I... GTA 5 is whatever to me, so... I can't install on my PC anyway at the moment, because it takes up far too much storage. Yeah, oh. it's 98 gigabytes now with the it's latest more than update. That Hold on. There we go. Also, fun fact while we were staring at that pause screen that I just noticed... Well, yeah. Did you notice what the leading S-Class car of this race was? No. The uh, the Lotus Evora, the Type 124. It's beating an MC-12 and a Koenigsegg. Yeah, it's called uh, Type 124 because it's got 24s on. Yeah. <laughs> CIs. Yeah, yeah. They, they listen, Inferno, mate. I'll be completely. I've been honest with these guys from the start. We might not like some of the content he does, but I'll be perfectly honest. The Survivor Hunt pulled for me like a hundred thousand views guaranteed. I'd be fucking doing it every day, so I can't yeah. fault him. It's like that one dude that I was watching that made GTA San Andreas like funny videos, and then all of a sudden just started doing the same Among Us meme over and over again. It was eight second long videos, but they kept getting a million views a day, so he kept doing oh, it. I can't em blame em him em for em that. Em em Emil, Emil. Yeah. Is it the guy that made the San Andreas Pacifist run? Yes. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I had to unsubscribe, but to be fair, if I was getting a million views a day by fucking those... I don't even know what those videos <laughs> were. They were shit. <laughs> I don't know, it was like... One, Half one the comments like, were like, like, this is shit, but I don't... I'm just watching all of them. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I know what you mean, like, I, I was watching for the fucking GTA videos and then... <laughs> <laughs> so that I would... Well, off to see Bring. Off to yeah, see the Bring the Wizard. We might complain about Fail Race, but like none of us will ever complain or 
none of us would do anything he's doing differently, to be honest. Oh, fuck no. <clears throat> Although I wouldn't moan about YouTube killing my channel, because... Oh, no. Oh, that. <laughs> I know that my content's stale as fuck. It's a Let's Play channel. <laughs> A Let's Play channels are stale as fuck. If you want to grow on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, don't be a Let's Play channel. That's my... Yeah. Welcome to my TED Talk. Be a meme channel. <laughs> or something like that. Or yeah, if you want to do videos about cars, be smart. Or do F1 Hi. moves. Or memes. Or memes. But you'll probably get oh, copyright oh. struck. And also, you yeah. won't get any money from the videos. But still, memes. Or, or, be like, or be like, do not media, do shit and have people watch. If it works, it works, yeah, I agree. Uh, yes, there was some BTCC news. Um, one bit of news I've forgotten, but someone's... Oh, Ingram's now at Sicily Motorsports, which means he's in a free series next year. Boo. Oh, boy. Um, and Toyota is doing a two-car operation. Well, didn't Audi buy it when the teams, but they're still... Not swapping cows. No, AMD Something. tuning's using the Focus. Oh. Because okay. there was four motor based Focuses last year, so they'll just use two of those. Two of them are going to be AMD branding, and two of them are going to. Not the computer company, we should yeah. stress. Although apparently it might be a subsidiary. That was something I heard the other day. There is actually some slight connection there, apparently. Oh. But, anyways. Yeah. Uh, Ingram's in a free yeah. series because the Mercedes A Class team has switched to running the free series because as, as a custom uh. team. Uh, so you're not talking about AMD and shit like that. Uh, today there was something about AMD. Yes, yes, I saw the fucking chip. No, and that there was fucking a meme. Yeah, the I saw yeah. I, I saw that meme as well. <laughs> Actually, I saw the meme before I saw the actual news. So. Is AMC defunct? Yes, it is. You've probably been asked this before, but from the assortment of racetracks in this game, what's your least and most enjoyed? I don't think I have been asked that, but I'll answer it. Um, favorite tracks? I like Maple Valley. I like Iberian. Um, why is yeah, my Inferno head in, in chat? Not the one in voice. Uh, we don't yeah. get a lot of serious questions. <laughs> uh, it used to be me, but since I moved to here, I've now joined in with the. Pray your pointlessness. So please, try not to swear. Serious stuff. <laughs> try to try not to swear, please. Fuck off. Fuck you can off. Say mate. Fuck yeah. me, one you little fucking asshole. I could say that would be my stream. Yeah. I, might. <laughs> yeah. I was running the stream. I agree, but um, Ludo and Inferno for the meal. Uh, no, mm. Toyo didn't fire Ingram. Ingram walked away. I think Ingram walked away because it was about to become what it is now, which is a full-on manufacturer team with Gazoo backing. So. I love Gazoo as a name. Toyota Gazoo. Toyota Motorsport Arms. It Gazoo means you, it driven. means we already know what your favourite livery on the grid next year is going to be. Yes. Because they do literally white, black, red. Oh. I hate that I come out, came up with this colour scheme, to be honest, because it just means that I now look like a rip-off of every single racing team ever. Yes. But anyways, going back to the Toyota question, I like Iberian, Maple Valley. I'm trying to think of any real world tracks I enjoy in this game. There's probably some, but my mind's drawing blank. Least favourite tracks, uh, Sonoma can suck a dick. And, apart from the oval, because the oval's hilarious, because, yeah, I can't drive ovals. Uh, Sonoma can suck a dick, and... I'm trying to think what else is really bad in this game. Magello's kind of boring. Hmm. Um... I can't think of much else. Sorry, my man. Do, do you manage to crash in a straight line whenever you go over to Magello, like 20 of the best drivers did <laughs> last year? Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Oh, Collision fucking, is yeah. certain. Oh, hey, we're going to do a restart just as we get to the line. Oh, wait, half the field has literally tried to bolt before uh, the leaders out. Well, they kind of have to. I'd say it was the FIA's fault, really, for moving the start-finish, or the restart line. Yeah. There. They want to make it more exciting, so they moved it forward, rather. It to, did, like, the first in quarter. fairness. Yeah, it did. He also got but... Roman Grosjean being the most contradictory motherfucker I've ever heard in my life. Why? <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. This is fucking ridiculous. Mate, you literally have, like, the most infamous fucking start-line crash in history. 
<laughs> where you decide to launch not... yourself at fucking Fernando Alonso for no reason. <laughs> uh, no, given the chance, wouldn't you do the same? What, launch what? Yeah. No, not after that video yesterday. I can't stop watching that, by the way. Have you seen it in no. racing? The no. fucking American Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since seeing Fernando Alonso in a cowboy hat speaking American, I can't hate the man. Oh, the Jensen Button. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Have you seen all of them? No. Oh they, my god, they, there's this more? This was an entire advert series where they went around the world. Oh no. Um, Jensen and Fernando in the Honda S600 or S800, whatever that. it is. The thing is, they've all been taken down, so it's quite hard to find them now. Yeah. Um, I'll have to see if I can find them. That break, Why? that breakup was pretty bad. What's my favorite color? Uh, my favorite color fluctuates between green, purple, and light turquoise. Ooh. Blue, if I have to pick a primary color. Oh, fancy. But yeah, if you can't tell, actually, it's sort of like ruby, pinky colors as well. You, you can pretty much tell by all the channels' brandings which colors I like. Yeah. Where is it? One channel's Wait, green, no. one channel's ruby, one channel's like, well, Discord channel now, because the actual channel is connected to do is dead rip, but the, like, bluish, purplish thing. And then there is me, favorite color, red. Red, red and red. red. How long will the stream last for? No idea. Um, you spelt the name wrong, it's two T's, Lex. Um... Surely a team fully backed by a manufacturer will probably have a chance for the championship. Yeah, that's what Toyota's saying, because they now have a, they think they have a good enough car to make a run for it, so... If it will spectacularly crash and fail, or they'll actually be successful. I could see Toyota winning the championship if they get two decent wheelmen. Rory Butcher's the guy who's apparently being mentioned a lot, who, despite having bad looks, pretty good, so... That piss on motor-based bombshell yeah. as well. Maybe if you have Oh, sorry, no, it's not Ingram at Sicily, it's uh, no. Max Chilton. Sorry, I... Just to I correct just myself earlier. Hmm. I think he might be related. I don't think he's F1 match chip. Was it F? Was it Chilton in yeah. F1? I don't yeah, think it's that he Chilton. He was. Not for long, but he was. I know he's in a Marussia. Because one of his teammate when he died, Bianchi. Hmm. Yeah, Max Chilton. Oh, he is actually. Oh, no, Tom. Tom Chilton. That's the guy in BTCC right now. Right, I can only yeah, find you were one. Of Max. That's his brother. Hmm. It's been yeah, in the Astra Team Shredded Wheat Team Shredded Re BTC Racing. He was also in Sebastian Loeb's fucking Dream Squad in WTCC. Hmm. Fuck them for getting rid of that from Race Room. Just need to point that out every time. Yes, Tom Chilton. Max Chilton's brother. Also, I'm curious. Uh, Slightly Plant darker Park. hair. I'm curious about something, Plant Park. Why is it you saying Rip Ginsters? Because it's not going to be a Ginsters livery anymore. Oh, fuck. Because he's going really? for the Toyota Gazoo. Yeah. Oh, that's bullshit. Come on. <laughs> where's where's me advertising for sausage rolls and pasties? He might still be on the car, it just won't be the full title. Oh, my God. Yeah, but Oh my oh. god, we've had a collision! Oh There's dear. There's been an accident. There has been an accident, and McLaren has been killed. Oh! <laughs> There's a chance the AMC Pacer might beat a McLaren in this race, but we'll see how that goes. Oh boy! That's if an AMC Pacer birdie. beats a McLaren, doesn't that... Wow, an accident, yeah. It's only taken 189 episodes for some interesting time oh, with the AI. Uh, Bruce, I just saw something in the video you posted. It's right, translated yeah. in Spanish. Yeah, well, this is how difficult it is to find these. <laughs> I genuinely, that's the only one on YouTube that I can find. What did you have for dinner? Few links, I had chicken burgers. They, they've all been privated, so... Oh, that suck. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? I think Mobile One's actually taken them all down. That wouldn't surprise me. Mm. Toyota aren't going to win an Ash shot and will be the 2021 champion. Um, depends if that Infinity still continues to be the machine of dreams. We'll see. I mean, the safe money is always on fucking... Uh, I forgot his name. Colin Turkington. <laughs> Turkington. 
Yeah, when in doubt, bet on Turkington. Oh, someone's gone um, off the track. Yeah, that was that McLaren. That's the bit oh. from that McLaren. And the Lamborghini <laughs> it tried to play Twister with. <laughs> so It's past the Maldonado versus Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that uh, McLaren has gone into the pits just to go repair itself. Nice, Emma. Uh, yeah, if you, I mean, to be fair, safe pet, let's... Actually. That'll be next year. What I will say, uh, I'll make a bold prediction right now, 2022 champions is going to be uh, Team Halfords. Because they'll get the new Civic. Although hybrid era, Toyota. Hmm. Because 2022 is the hybrids. We'll see. I don't eat lunch, I eat one meal a day. I don't believe in overindulgence. Yes, Turkington is a tosser, but... <laughs> so is Jason Plato, and Boots likes him, so... <laughs> yeah, I like Plato because he's got a funny book. Actually, and that's a point. Okay, right. If they get Gordon Shedden back next year, Honda's going to bring in the team's championship. Provided Shedden hasn't lost his charm by sucking at ass in WTCC for the three years. Maybe Eyebrows needs a good run with the championship. He's been like unfathomably close the last two years. Um. Well, we watch it in the private server Inferno. So, hmm? other Inferno. That's you. Is, yeah, we need a problem. Uh, Call him like uh, MT4 because he's got the MT4. Aren't you mad? Will Nick Hamilton score points? Absolutely not. Aren't you mad that there is another Inferno? Inferno. The only reason Nicholas uh, Hamilton score points is because 14 like retirements happened. Yeah, anything can happen in BTC. You just tried to degrade yeah. Kvyat's fourth place because everyone retired. <laughs> Guess that. How dare you disrespect my boy uh, the kid? Call him worse than Fernando. I like. Well, I don't know. You seem better than the other ones, so. Oh, charming. I mean, for some reason would you these like mountains. For some reason these mountains are reminding me of the fucking ending of Halo Three. Thanks Spoilers. for playing. Wait, no, that wasn't Bungie's last Halo, was it? Fucking like Reach existed. It isn't Reach the one everyone likes. Reach isn't as good. Yeah, isn't it the one everyone likes? The Fools of Fools, the one everyone likes, doesn't mean it's the best one. Yeah. Is that true anymore? Yeah. I don't know. People rate Horizon 4. I don't know, so far I've only seen people telling me they'd wish it would die, so... What? I'm a little bit numb to it. No, that's us wishing it would die because we're sick of playing it because we're all masochists who have to go and collect every single car in the game. No, <laughs> I've also seen people just wishing it would go. Yeah. Well, look, yeah, they, I wish they, it. They I are, wish they'd hurry up and make another fucking motorsport game because motorsport games are more are interesting to me than to fucking free roam. They aren't fucking completely wrong. I prefer track races. There's more to them. I just wish they'd make a proper map again. I, I hate this, like, pure open world stuff with no walls. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I, I want solid walls to hit and bounce off of and stuff, but I... Just, give me horizon You just want an excuse to drive back, don't you? Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then better Inferno. Yes. Favourite movie? I don't really have one. I can't think of. Uh, probably one of the Fast and Furious is all the Expendables. I have no taste in film. I just want to point that out. The Speed Racer movie. I don't know. It's fantastic. Is. Yeah, you should watch the Speed. It's amazing. Actually, I watched Red uh, Line uh, once and I remember nothing about it. I mean, Emil. I assume you're not talking about the anime movie. No, the really bad 2000s. Where they one. destroyed natural Carrera GT. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, and yeah no, the owner said screamed. he didn't like it. The, gu the guy directing it was his car, and he didn't like the Carrera GT, so he just decided to destroy one. You fucking... no, 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 don't say that. 
Yeah, no, it's Mate, great. the Carrera GT was a piece of shit that started on the engine anyway, so who cares? I thought you'd like it because of a certain accident related to it. I like Paul Walker. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, he's all right. He had, yeah, slightly, well, he had slightly more personality than Vin Diesel does, who just sits there and goes, Family matters. That's not really saying much, though, is it? When he got given yeah, but now Vin Diesel's like the main I'm character rude. of all the Fast and Furiouses, and it's really bad. Because he talks more. <laughs> <laughs> At least before Brian was an inoffensive American voice. What? I saw Johnny, Johnny English Reborn. That was pretty good. I've not seen the first one, though. Family. Oh boys! I don't get anyone else. I don't think anyone's is... ever seen the original Johnny English. I think I did. I really want to see the new Fast and Furious though, because I'm curious to see how that Dodge Charger that does the um, Tarzan swing lands on the fucking. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I want to see how that, that lands on the know? other island. <laughs> I forgot about that. What the? Considering when you about? think about it, even the if that could happen, time. right? Because it gets hooked to the wheel, doesn't it? And that's how it. Swings across. Yeah. Even if it does end up on the other side and somehow miraculously doesn't pull the fucking steering rack from the car that weighs like 5,000 pounds, how it will won't. it unhook itself from the. Um. That family. Okay, right. I've, okay, no, no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. Very simple. Michelle Rodriguez, Vin Diesel, in the Charger. Alright. They're trying to catch no. up with John Cena. They do the Tarzan oh, swing. I he was in it. They do the Tarzan swing. Alright. They, they get almost across to the other island. But wait. It looks like the, the, the thing is going to be attached under the tyre and give them a flat tyre. And then all of a sudden, Vin Diesel's going to go, Family. And then his son is just going to fly in out of nowhere on a fucking jetpack. Pull it off and go, <laughs> go get him, Dad! <laughs> and he's going to be like, I forgot he had a son as well. You're my family, Brian. And then he's going to go kill John Cena. <laughs> Actually, no, he's not going to kill yeah. John Cena. He's going to have a no, fight he's... with John Cena. John Cena's going to realise the importance of family. And then it's going to end with them all sat around a table drinking Corona. Mark my yeah. fucking words. <laughs> I mean, I mean, isn't John Cena meant to be his... Or something like that. Yeah, is he? He's not gonna kill John Cena. John Cena is gonna be in the ending scene where they're drinking Corona together. You, you mean like in? <laughs> I'm telling you uh, now. I mean, I mean, like, like, like in, like in that movie they did with uh, Statham and uh, the. Yeah, Rock. it's like how Statham's now a good guy. John Cena no, no, will be a good guy in Fast Ten. To be fair, yeah, I yeah. want any excuse for more Jason. I mean, I mean, I mean that, that that wasn't what I was talking about. You know, they did uh, Sean and Ops. Well, Sean and Hobbs was really good as well. Yeah, yeah, but uh, who the fuck was the the wrestler that was in there too? Uh, oh, Idris Elba. Was it? The black no? dude, yeah, no, Idris Elba. Not not El not, not Elba. Um, there was one. That oh, the girl. No, that, who? No. Played the fucking brother of uh, the Rock. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. One the Maui. No, not Maui. Yeah. Oh, wasn't that like an FBI agent or something? No, that is no. that a different That was no. Ryan... Gro yeah, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds, wasn't he in it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. Not, not, that's not weird. I get confused I... with all the Ryan Reynolds films oh, where Roman he stars as a Roman, person in the scene. Roman Reigns. Reigns. Oh, Reigns, yeah, Roman Reigns. Reigns. <laughs> I forgot about yeah, that. But what, <laughs> yeah, but what I meant, like, he's, <laughs> at some point, he's like, he's like a bad guy against the, against fucking the rock. Well, he's coming gimmick on WWE TV as he keeps saying he puts dinner on the plate. So maybe, like, at the end, dinner won't be on the plate when they're drinking Corona. And they're gonna wonder what happens, and then Roman Reigns is gonna come down, super punch the table. Everyone's gonna get blasted back, and he's gonna go, "This is my yard now." I don't know. It'll be Fast and Furious 10, and Roman Reigns gets rained. I don't know. It doesn't say I'm bad guy, no good guy. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, uh, also, the fact that they, that they are bringing back a hunt from Tokyo Drift, like what? And he's got a super. No, no, you're forgetting the one important rule that we've learned in Fast and Furious the last few years. What? No there one actually dies. <laughs> oh my god, no, Fast um, 10 is just all the villains of the previous movies have set up a base on the moon and I mean, Dom is to mean, drive a charger up to Did the, the main Asian baddie out of Fast and Furious 1 die? I don't remember. Didn't he fall off a cliff? Did he fall off a bike and that was it? 
He got, oh, wait, no, he got shot, one, he got sorry, shot, I he got, got shot, he got shot. Fast two, the guy got arrested. On the boat. Yeah. Was he? T yeah, no. Tokyo Drift, he didn't die. He just fell no. off a cliff. And everyone thought he was a noob. Although, to be fair, the blonde-headed guy, he did die. <laughs> he definitely died. Hello, Jason. Um, which, which guy? The fucking, the blonde one that drove in the 350Z with, like, the yellow on it. It like, went, like, head first into a Nissan Sentra. Oh, yeah, yeah. and also, um... <laughs> yeah, didn't he, didn't he lose his car, actually, or something? No, he actually, died. I, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> he I, just actually, died. Actually, the one I'm more sure that he, that he didn't die, I'm going to tell you who it is. It's the fucking Satan, the, the brother of the child. Of the yeah, because he was still in hospital at the, in Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, uh, yeah. Jason. <laughs> Oh my god, Roman Reigns and him are going to team up and they're going to be the bad guys and then Statham's not going to kill his brother and then they're all going to be sat around drinking Corona at the end of Fast 10 to lead into Fast 11 where Roman Reigns is the only bad guy. And then at the end of Fast 11 they're going to no. convince Roman Reigns about the power of family and then the way the film's the entire film, like, quad trilogy or whatever you call them, no, 11th no, one, no, it's all going to no, end with yeah. them sat around the table drinking Corona and then Paul Walker's going to walk in as a ghost and say, family, and then they're all going to no. go, family and then they're all gonna like it's all just a marketing point for corona my god i figured it out fast and furious gave the world coronavirus <laughs> oh, god. oh my god and if this was twitch i'd actually get banned for that <laughs> yeah actually the thing is uh i think what what they are might gonna do which is not gonna end well is like you see in uh in uh, Sean and Hobbs, how they went for the super spy thing, I think that's going to come back <laughs> in this oh, one. Mate, did you not understand away. by the fact that John Cena literally got fucking airlifted by a giant fuck off, like, advanced UAV I, I, frame from Advanced Warfare? I, do, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't watch the trailer. What about God's Eye? Like, in... Right, in Ludo, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and watch the trailer right now. No, I don't, I, I, I don't, I it. don't... I don't no. because I'm do I don't want to be spoiled because I know just go the Fast and Furious movie. Who cares about spoilers? <laughs> you're Emil, you're on the arrow with a rocket on the back. You're going mental. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah, but I want to I want to see the stupid shit in theater, I'm not see it on my TV. I mean that's reasonable. Do you want to be surprised when the Dodge Charger does a Tarzan roll over from one island yes. to the other? Yes. <laughs> By the way, that I just want to point out, we make that sound ridiculous. That's not actually as ridiculous as you like. Genuinely, it's even more ridiculous than I'm describing right now. Mm. Like it's I, actually I a planned out thing that they drive off the bridge that Tarzans them over. I mean, I I, wa I wanted to. Be I can like try and the... do an entire episode without swearing, but I don't I, think it will go I, well. <laughs> I, I wanted to be like in Fast Six, I think, when they fucking took the W the Lakehead off from one building to the other. Doing and the Porsche like Boxster. I've seen no, those skyscrapers uh, in real life. But it was a, it was a fucking boxster. Yeah, it was a boxster underneath. Didn't and they uh, and they actually fire. they actually threw it off the fucking window. Yeah, yeah, they threw it out of the window because it's a stunt car. They didn't care. It was just a boxster chassis. <laughs> it did like thirty miles an hour apparently. <laughs> nice. They just shot it to make it look like it was going faster in the building. <laughs> Wait, hold on, they actually filmed it in the building? Yeah, they filmed... they got an abandoned building and just flew it around. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant, like, they literally... Okay. I thought you meant in, like, the UAE yes. skyscraper. Well, there's been differing reports whether it had, like... Because it was a Boxster chassis, but there's differing reports on whether it was, like, actually powered by a Boxster engine or if they just stuck an electric motor in it in order to do what they needed to do. So. Fair enough. Someone bought one of the uh, the Lycan bodies, I know that much. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the B-Class multi-class event. So join us for that. Until then, farewell. You